Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the patient manager in order to perform a patient demographic query. So in that uh, uh, small tutorial, I will use the patient demographic uh, uh, supplier for the PDQ profile. So the uh, patient manager application is, is a simulator that provides uh, simulation tools for the AMP profile, patient administration management for PDQ, patient demographic query, for PICS, patient information, uh, patient management tool for self-oriented, both V2 and V3, and as well for the scheduled workflow EDP, um, so to provide one and one two uh, message. So in that case, I'm going to use the simulator as uh, to simulate the patient demographic supplier actor in the V2 configuration. So what I see when I select that actor is that uh, my SUT will be uh, the patient demographic consumer will be able to perform queries to the patient demographic supplier. When I've selected that transaction, I see here on the right side the information about the simulator so that I can configure my HL7 sender uh, to, to send this uh, patient demographic query. <coughs> So I'm going to uh, use the uh, HL7 inspector in order to perform uh, my uh, query. I've uh, created my query messages, my query message. So uh, I will edit it in order to uh, select. Uh, oops, I will edit that in order to be easier. So the sending facility and application will be changed. For uh, no, okay, and uh, here I will have PDQ test. Okay, so now I've got my message. Uh, I will change the uh, uh, time that I identify the message so that I know it's 1915. I need to do that manually, but This is to configure the message I'm going to send. Now I need to configure uh, as a message sender the target. So the target here is configured to match the IP address and the port number of the uh, simulator. And you see clearly that this is what we have entered. The simulator is stored as a UTF-8, uh, but we can uh, configure it for different uh, Character encoding, and that's the default for uh, the stop message, the stop character, and the stop character for the MLLT protocol. So my configuration is okay, and here I'm going to do a query for uh, uh, all the patient which first name starts with an A, so the OS A star, and which are coming from France. So let's send the selected message. So my message is here. I'm going to send it. Okay, so what we have here in the logs, I will go stretch the window. This is my message sent. This is the response I got from the simulator, where I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight patients that were returned, all from France. And I've got an acknowledgement which was accepted my application and Passive application, passive application, my SUT, and we end the connection history. So now let's see what happened on this uh, simulator side. Uh, so I, on the simulator here, I can go and see the HL7 V2 messages that were received by the application. And you clearly see that uh, here at uh, 7 uh, 15 p.m. to 16.52, was uh, maybe time to fill in the, the context. Uh, my message has been received. This is my IP address. And I click here to find out uh, the sent message and you find out the query for first name, <coughs> sorry, being A star and the country for the address being in France. 
So that's the message I've sent to the simulator, has been captured by the simulator. The simulator has validated my query message and provide the outcome of the validation here. And the response message that I've received and I showed you in my HL7 inspector window is also available here. And that's a response I've received from uh, the simulator with the different uh, eight uh, response that it provides. Uh, the simulator provides also the way to download the message, to see it as a tree, which is uh, practical if you don't like to count uh, types in ER7 messages, which I don't like to, or as an XML, or as a raw uh, ER7 format. You also see that there is a profile ID. This is the HL7 message profile that is used to perform the validation of a message in that context. So when you see the query and the response, we have different um, uh, HL7 message profiles. This is the profile for the RSP K22, and if I click on that, I see the, uh, the XML of the HL7 message profile displayed with a style sheet. So if I look at the source of the page, you will see that's the uh, XML profile that defines the requirements for each of the fields in that message. So that is used to perform the validation, and you see the outcome of the validation there. Okay, so uh, what we've done here is we've used the PDQ uh, patient demographic supplier HL7 V2 simulator in order to uh, test our application acting as a patient demographic consumer. Thank you for your attention.